Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Waj. I run a page called Speed Fever UK and I know you're gonna ask me, where have you been? Okay, it's been busy, summertime gets really busy with some of the other businesses and projects I'm working on. But today I've got a moment, it's like probably one of the hottest days in London today. I think we've got 32 degrees worth of heat going on, but I still managed to get myself a car for today and I'm gonna show you this car in just a second. Three, two, one. Here is the car in question today. This is the GLC 63 AMG S. This car has 510 brake horsepower, 700 nanometers of torque. Nought to 60 is 3.8 seconds stock. On the GLC 63 MGS, you get the bigger calipers, as you can see here, with the drilled brake discs. This allows to cool down quicker when you're needing to stop. As you can see, these come with the AMG bucket seats, which are amazing, comfortable, and give you that racy feel. As well as that, it comes with all the carbon fiber in the middle, and on the external, on the side mirrors, all carbon fiber. These are the upgraded 21 inch wheels. As you can see, these have the rear carbon fiber. That looks amazing. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but what a beauty. Carbon fiber Venturi air intakes. Even in the engine bay, there's carbon fiber. Whew. Look at that, what a beast. Let's go and let's do a start up now. We are inside the GLC and we're about to go for a little drive. This is my friend Yasser. Yasser, how long have we been friends for? Very long. <laughs> when are you gonna leave? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, is that how you feel? <laughs> right. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna go for a drive now and get a bit of feel of the car because um, I'll be honest with you, I think this is the first AMG I've been in like properly, yeah. And I've never driven an AMG before. I think the closest I drove to an AMG was a CL500. Does that count? No. No, it doesn't count. So yeah, we're gonna go for a drive. I'm gonna get a feel from Yasir, how the car drives. I'm gonna ask him a few questions. And then uh, he said he's gonna let me drive it. So pff, let's see how that goes, guys. As you can see, he's got this amazing steering wheel. Nice carbon fireball inside. I think you guys have already seen all this, but I thought I'd do a little inside review as well. Got to buy my speakers, customs. So you can adjust your seats. Do the controller here. Oh, steering wheel lights up. Ooh. Oh, jeez. This car is really quick. Like, you wouldn't imagine uh, a small school bus to move this quick. Damn. And it holds around the bends really well. So, for the viewers, you know, I think everybody probably does wonder, like, how do certain people afford certain cars like this? So, for you guys, I'm gonna ask Yasser a few questions, and if he feels comfortable answering them, then, you know, by all means, go for it. So Yasser, what do you do for a living that gets you a car like this? Uh, so I work for a data firm uh, in the city. I won't disclose the name, but we work in alternative assets. I guess you call me a sales director for a region. Hard work, I guess, pays off in the sense that, you know, everyone knows that cheesy saying, but pretty much it's given me a lot of choice in some of the cars that I drive. Um, I'm obviously thankful for the opportunities that God's given me as well. So, you know, you always have to give praise to the most high uh, but yeah man i mean look it's possible everyone can own what they want i mean obviously it's just the glc but you know hopefully one day yeah so i asked you what you do for a living not a motivational speech oh, man wow, i do apologize <laughs> Jesus. all right so how much did you pick this car up for Something I don't like to disclose, but I'll give you a range between 55 and 60,000. Okay, and is this probably one of the best cars you've owned so far? Because you had the X6M, which we never got to review. I think I've got a clip of it where I drove it for like maybe 10 minutes, but it wasn't a proper review, so I never posted it. But yeah, how, uh, which one is the best car that you've owned so far? I'll, I've had a CLS 800. 
Um, if a lot of people know, I had a Brabus Spec CLS, um, 2012, a very rare car, one of 50, um, and that probably is the all-time best car I've earned. However, this is the second best car I've earned, and I'm sure, Wad, you know how many cars I've had. Um, I've one. had a, a wide range of sports cars, um, but yeah, I would say this is the second best car I've earned after all of the other cars that I've earned. And of course, this car being as fast as it is, as quick as it is, being an AMG, you always pick your cars based off of practicality, right? So, would you say this car is practical at the same time? Yes. I've got two baby chairs in the back, as you can probably tell. I'm not sure if you want to show the viewers. Um, I've got crazy loads of stuff in the boot. In fact, I've got two prams and I, I have two kids. So I've got a double and a single, if that interests anyone. Um, but yeah, it's enough space, it's nimble. You know, if you want to get like a saloon or a coupe, but you want it just slightly bigger to have that road presence, you know, the space, um, not to have it too bumpy, can't go wrong. And there's one more question I want to ask you, and that is, where did you get this steering wheel from? From people that might be watching this and want a, uh, a wheel like this, that does all this lighting up, and where did you get it from? So, um, I actually got approached by um, an Instagram account called Raya Customs. Yeah. And they basically like design custom wheels. Sure. So, I was actually going to order something from China, um, but then this guy approached me and he's like, you know, we, we deal with um, genuine products and we customize original wheels. So, pretty much, you know, he reached out to me. He was like, look, we've got an introductory offer. Let me sort you out. Um, good man actually sorted me out, sorted a few of my friends out. But yeah, I recommend, I recommend, uh, I recommend having having a look at them. So if I get an AMG, you're gonna hold me up as a steering wheel. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, it's not my business. But yeah. I know it's not your business, but I'm sure <laughs> you've got links, so you know. Yes, I can definitely give you a word. Why? No problem. All right, guys. So at least the steering wheel's sorted. Now, what the viewers are gonna want to see is obviously yes. what this car can do, okay. the sounds it makes. And obviously, Absolutely. staying Should at the be. limit of 30. Yeah, of course. So, we're gonna make a bit of noise for you guys. Ooh. I have to hold the whole shit handle with this. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh Lord have mercy. Oh my days. My heart rate is out of the roof. <laughs> Dude, how does it move so quick? Like, this car is not meant to move that fast. It's so rapid. And there's no body roll. Oh my God. Oh Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, I think. That was, uh, that was fun. Um, what do you think? This car, can you, if you wanted to take it to the track, can you? Yes. And it, it will, it'll give you now other cars a run for the money? Yes. I think so. I'd like to think so. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. If you want to get a GLC 63, you can race it and uh, it moves really bloody quick. That, that four wheel drive, oh my Lord. Like you can hear the blow off valve just going off and it's ready to just, Shoot. Wow, that is quick. Now, one more question that I have. Yes. Beamer or Merc? Oh, I knew you were gonna ask me this bloody question. I'll make it easier. Beamer, Merc or Audi, rate it first, second, third. Audi is right at the bottom. Really sorry to the Audi fans out there. Um, <laughs> BMW, do you know what it is? Can I, I'll explain in, hopefully in 30 seconds. BMW is what everyone wants to get when they first pass their driving test. Well, anyway, everyone I was around. Mercedes is more for like, oh, you know what, I've grown up, I want to get something a bit more mature. That's how I feel. Now, personally, right now, I think it's Mercedes, man. Just everything about it. I, I, I think I have to agree because I think there was a stage where I, I was like, oh yeah, M3, oh yeah, M4. 
I never actually considered Audis, I'll be honest with you, other than the RS6, I don't think any of the other ones would really tickle my fancy. But whenever I look at a car that I'd love to get, it always comes down to a Merc. It has to be a Merc and it has to be an AMG. Oh boy. The oh shit handle in this car comes in really handy, I'll be honest with you. So yeah, there you go guys, that's a bit of like about what Yasser does, how he managed to get these cars and like what do you have planned in the future? Like what are you going to do to this car? Are you going to make it crazy? Yep, Sunday is going to Prestige Auto Tech in Wimbledon. Um, I've done a lot of research and uh, I ended up trying something a bit different this time to get my stage 2 done. So it's going DCATS, stage 2. Obviously, as you know from the video, I'm sure you've already got it. Aventuri intakes are in already. Um, it's got the blow off valve. It's pretty much ready for a stage two slash stage two plus. Um, looking very much forward to it, and I welcome you back to have a drive of it when it's done. I'm excited to see the difference. But uh, now I'm gonna start filming when I jump over into the driver's seat. So I'll see you in a second. Now I'm in the driver's seat. And uh, Yas has told me to drive it like I stole it, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. Oh man, I really like this instantly. I like the steering wheel is really nice. Dude, how does this uh, school bus handle so well? <laughs> you need to stop stop calling it a school bus and give it some respect. <laughs> no, no, it definitely deserves the respect. And you've lowered it as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I lowered it on a OBD. Yeah. It's like this little device that you plug into the OBD, literally. Sure. Ask it to drop it. Done the chameleon, factory tents, obviously the steering wheel. Oh, the carbon back seats. Yeah. Do apologize. Carbon back seats. We... Carbon back seats I've done. All the aluminium trims that I'm sure people will know what you're talking about from the video. I've ordered them in custom carbon. It's very hard to find because not a lot of people spec it. And I mean, not in the UK, it wasn't even an option. So I'm having to get it from completely different region in the world. Like I like to create my car my own way, do you know what I mean? But, like I don't like to copy others. I completely understand that because I've seen X6s that look identical to your cars and I feel like there's no inspiration whatsoever. They literally copied and pasted it, mm. which is, is not nice. I think I think anyone that does that has no creativity and like they really should try and do something to stand out. The whole purpose of having a car like this and then doing your extra touches is to make it stand out rather than when you see it, you automatically assume it's someone else's car when it's actually not. Yep. So guys, try and be a bit more creative. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's make the scene a bit more interesting, like how Yas is doing with, uh, you know, bits and bobs from all over the world to make this GLC really stand out. So tell me a bit about, just quickly, what each mode does and how does it make a difference in the car? Comfort, obviously daily driving, chilling, yeah. not really looking to do anything Sport, to be honest, even people online, they really say sport is kind of a pointless option. But Sport Plus you've got is obviously where it opens the car up. Um, I'm, sh I'm actually going to flick it in for you now. So what are we in now, Sport Plus? You're now in Sports Plus. So the steering wheel's gone a lot lighter. Is yes. that normal? Uh, it sh shouldn't do, it should get a bit firmer. Oh yes, it's gone firmer. It I should get firmer. Turning, yeah. And then um, the car now is going to hold gears, obviously a bit longer. Do it's going to give you pretty much the full power at your disposal. With great and then, power comes great responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got a race mode, which basically allows you to do a launch control. Ooh, on, on race a, mode? On, on a school bus, as you call it. Uh, why would you want to do a launch control on a school bus? Well, I mean, you never know. You want to get the kids right quickly That's to school. <laughs> okay, so I, can, I can feel the, the exhaust is now making a lot more. Yeah, yeah, pops and bangs. Yeah, popping yeah. and banging. Oh, you get the blow off valve. Oh yeah, you get... Damn. And it's just so effortless. Oh, oh, oh. That is rapid. There's a lot of poo now in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should be all right, man. I mean, uh, you, you let me drive the uh, the BMW and I think the BMWs are a bit more crazier than Mercs. I think Mercs are a bit more planted and, mm. a bit, and plus it's four wheel drive, man. Yeah. If it was rare, we'll drive. Oh dear lord. But yeah, how, how are you feeling? I have, maybe maybe I, I should take your role. I really, now. I really like it. Um, it's it's very. First of all, it's very comfortable, even though.
though, like obviously it's got all this crazy power and whatnot, and it's so easy to drive. That's Does what... it feel like an SUV to you? No, that's because that's the thing. That's what I'm trying to. Even though I'm saying, oh yeah, the school bus shouldn't be going that far, it does not feel like an SUV. Like, I would say it feels... Oh, Lord have mercy. Whew. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> How does it handle so well? I would never be this brave to push my S2000 around the bends like that. It just holds. And it's so, there's no body roll. There's no body roll and the car is so like, it's, it's a big car, it's not a small car, but it handles so well. Do you think tires make a big difference? Yes, it's got Mitchell and Pilot Sport 4S on it. I wouldn't change them for anything else. Maybe r 8s but I mean, that's just silly, right? Those are like track, track yeah. weapons. <laughs> So yes, sir, are your pants still clean or? No, it's now starting to fall out of my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> if you put me in this car and told me, here you go, drive it, and I don't know what car I'm in, I would assume this is either a C63 or an E63 because of the way it drives. I would never ever think that it's a, it's a SUV or anything close to it. Dude, honestly, I already think this is a lot of power because 510 brake horsepower is not like a small amount of power for it, especially a car you're on a daily. How do you drive sensibly with that much power? You don't. You know, this alone was scaring the out of me because I was holding on to the whole <laughs> handle and we were just like kind of going through these tight country roads and the car just handles so well, it just sticks. Wow, I just, I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, this is a, this is a great purchase, I'd say. But yeah, all right, cool. There's a, this, this was me having to go in the car. I really like it. I think it's really, really nice. Drives really well. And I'm, I'm kind of really feeling the AMG now. Out of 10? Out of 10. Be honest. I'll turn, I'll, I'll turn my ears off. <laughs> out of 10, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm going to have to say it's probably a 9 out of 10, man. Wow, wow. It is definitely a 9 wow, out of 10. Wow, that's amazing, actually. Um, I really like it. I've, um, it might be a bit biased. I've always loved AMGs, though, and I've always loved Merc, so I, I think it's a bit biased. With the BMW, if, if we'd gone with your um, X6M, maybe I would have been a bit more like uh, harsh on it because I'm not a biggest fan of BMWs. But that car made some good sounds. So it did, yeah, it was matched by a wrench. So I did like I did like that about that car. Good thing with cars like this when you see a little gap. There you go. <laughs> but yeah guys, now I'm gonna show you some flybys and uh, we'll see you on the outside. standing outside the car guys we had a great time driving around in this glc i had a great fun i really love this car and it's really persuaded me to actually get like a amg version of uh you know the, the mercedes amg one of their cars from one of their division divisions i don't know which model i'll go for but i don't know I, this has really kind of made me realize why amg is what it is and uh so here's the glc anyways uh we're gonna be back soon Maybe in a couple of months once uh, yes has done the whole remapping, changing the few bits on the car and uh, we're going to see what difference it makes and how much more quicker it is because I'll be honest with you, this car is so quick already. I cannot, I cannot believe it. I had, I'll be honest with you, it's, it's really like convinced me to get an AMG. Like, just look at the interior, it's so beautiful. It's so nice. I know I've been back on the channel after ages. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We really did try and uh, get as much as we could in into the video while it was 
baking hot. I was dripping while I was making the cinematics. But yeah, I had a great time. Now I'm gonna enjoy the drive home in my car. I uh, got the roof down, so hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like. Please follow the Instagram page because that's where I post most of my content. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.